powerhouse high school out, out, out oh, in Nevada. You're not kidding. Big time school, big time talent, and it's great to see that we're getting that big time talent at this school, and I cannot wait to watch this guy get out on this field and, and, and ball out. So if you have missed seeing TJ rushing on video <laughs> since he last was with us, your wait's over because we're going to bring him in again. He is a man of the hour. Yeah, the most famous secondary <laughs> coach in America today certainly comes in. And again, uh, we were just talking about it. It, it. We obviously saw the video of uh, Alex on kick returns, on punt returns, but he's here to play defense, and you can see in the video that he is an exceptional one-on-one -on -one defender. Yes, sir. He is. He is definitely uh, a lockdown corner. Uh, per se. And the reason why I love Alex is because, like we're saying, he's played at Bishop Gorman, uh, a great high school, and they played exceptional talent week in and week out. You know, they mm -hmm. played a national schedule. Uh, so he was going against the top wide receivers and doing a good job against those guys. Yeah, this guy has a big time talent. So, you know, you just, just mentioned of him being a lockdown corner. So do we expect to see him out on that island by himself, one on one, just taking away one side of the field early in the ball game? That's the expectation for him, you know, and I told him that, you know. Now it's his job to keep preparing uh, like he did in high school to get on that level, to right. become elite. Uh, now he has to do that on the college level. So step it up even more uh, and come out here and be ready to compete uh, day in and day out. Yeah, I think he's a type of guy that can be an instant impact player for this Sun Devil defense, especially, you know, because, you know, we do take chances. We do blitz a lot, and, and we do like to create a lot of pressure. But when you got guys like, like Alex Perry and, and then his brother Armand Perry and Kareem Orr on the other side, you know, you, now you're finally getting that depth that ASU has been looking for. Yes, sir. Uh, I say, and that's the deal. We just needed depth, mm -hmm. needed competition in the room. Uh, and that's what we did. We addressed the need of the secondary, like everybody knew. Uh, and so we went out and did that in recruiting and getting a bunch of, a bunch of great players. Right. You know, we've, we've been talking a little bit today with different coaches about the adjustment to Division One football. Mm -hmm. When you get a defensive back in, and especially watching the talents of an Alex Perry, when you sit him down and show him film of games that ASU has played, what are the first things you're trying to point out to him about what offensive football is like at this level? Yeah. Uh, because, like I mentioned, that he played against gr good high school receivers. Right. Uh, now you got to step it up a notch. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, whenever he walked out on the grass in high school, he was more most of the time the most athletic guy right. on the field. And now it's come down to how technical can he be? How sound is his fundamentals against that other guy's fundamentals? Because that other guy's going to be just as athletic as you are. And that's, a, a, as we know, it's a, it's a faster game. The speed, I think, it's speed a lot of times for players, and, and you know this from your own experiences, the first thing to hit you when you move up a, a notch to D1 is right. how fast it is. Yeah, it's fast. You've got to be able, you gotta be able to come out and compete and, and understand that it's go time. You can't move at slow motion. You know, you can't, one guy's moving at 100, 110%. You can't be moving at 90. You've got to go. You've got to go because this is Pac-12 football. And you're going to play against the best of the best. And, and there are some great receivers in the Pac-12 that, that ASU is going to have to compete against and deal with this year. And I'm looking forward and, and can't wait to watch these guys uh, compete and take on that challenge. Are there a special team possibilities for Alex? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think that every DB that we sign should be able to contribute uh, with the special teams guys. Should be able to. Well, certainly the way he returned punts and kicks at Gor Bishop Gorman, I don't think there's any question that uh, he's got the talent to do it. The thing that impressed me in the clips that we saw was his instinct of reading where the blocking was going. No doubt. He, he's a naturally instinctive football player. Mm -hmm. If you watch him with the ball in his hands or whenever he's playing DB, a lot of the times, a lot of the plays, one of the clips that you showed, uh, it was trips to one side. They ran a bubble to his guy or to another guy, and he came up and made the tackle for loss. Instinctive mm -hmm. football player. You know, that's what we like to see. Well, a tremendous uh, addition again to uh, the Sun Devil defensive secondary, and I know it was an area uh, that you wanted to address, and I think you've done it very successfully today. So, again, congratulations. And as I said, we, we're congratulating the coaches because you put so much <laughs> yeah, work into this. Yeah, you have put in a and, lot of work. And it's, uh, it, this is where it all pays off. So, congratulations again. Hey, thank you, guys. Great to see you, TJ yeah, Rushing, it, TJ. defensive backfield coach, defensive backs coach for Arizona State. Now